Hello, welcome to Footy Tic Tac Toe, the series in which you're mashing up two different things and finding a player that has that in common. And today we're joined by Stump Peg. How are you doing? Good, thank you. You are doing very well in uh, League One, but a bit of a slip up recently, Bolton. And I'm not going to lie, I'm quite happy because we're in second. I thought you were literally just going to say, I'm not going to lie, I'm really happy because I hate you. Yep. <laughs> It's difficult because everyone's got gaming hands below Derby. Hopefully we stay in the top two. But yeah, shall we dive into the first grid? Let's do it. What would you like to start with? Club Nation trophy played under a certain manager. I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'll go for played under Sir Alex Ferguson. Played under Fergie. And Howard Webb counts. I saw him last night at the Forest Man United game with Mark Clattenburg. Mm. I don't know, have you seen the Forest have hired Clattenburg as a referee analyst? Oh, wow. Well, no, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's what I mean. I don't... I don't know what he does. Like, I don't know if he's trying to like avoid FFP or something because they've hired more people and therefore I don't know why they've done it. But let us know if you do know, guys. I will go for a bit of Inter Milan. I will go for World Cup finalist, but has not won the World Cup. World Cup runner up. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. A what I, I call go. World Cup finalist that has not won the World Cup, otherwise known as a World Cup runner-up. I will go, since I'm wearing the kit, I always do this, uh, Ajax. Why are you not wearing an Ajax kit, do you know what I mean? I just, I don't know, it's, it's the, it's quite an old, it's not that old, but it's like the golden -y one with the red and black stripe. I love, I love an Ajax kit. Yeah. The problem is what I do is I'll wash like the top 10 kits and then I'll put those back on top of the pile. So the ones at the bottom never get worn. Oh, I'm a bit fuming you've done Ajax. I don't think I've got a great Ajax knowledge. I'm going to go for, let's go for FA Cup winner. FA Cup winner. I'll end off with Arsenal, sure. What would you like to start with on the grid? I will start with... I wonder who was the goalkeeper when a certain team... Oh, this is so silly that I've introduced World Cups because my bad thing is that I'm really bad at differentiating between Euros and World Cups. Mm -hmm. I've got like loads of maybes, but none that are just... I wish I could do bottom left. You know what? Yeah, okay. We'll just, we'll just get that out of the way. Arsenal played under Fergie, Robin Van Persie. There we go. There's the one. Others you could have said, I think Danny Welbeck. Would have been under Fergie, surely. I don't know if you remember Mikel Silvestre, the centre back. Mm. What a player he was. Yeah, that's a good player. Do you know what, weirdly? I think he played for Inter Milan, so I'm going to put him on the board in uh, the top left, Mikel Silvestre. Yep, Man United bought him from Inter Milan. I've been playing a lot of online tic tac toe. Once you fill in the grid, it will give you all the potential answers. So my knowledge on tic tac toe is getting to a phenomenal. Like some of the rogue shouts I'll get in here. It's a little bit sad, but it's my job. Okay, so World Cup. Runner up and into Milan. That'd just be about blocking you though, that'd give me no. That's not really helping your three. Yeah, that's not. To be fair. Do you remember FA Cup Gate? Do you remember the Fernandinho situation? Good job there's no Man City on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. Kind of, last time we played Tic Tac Toe, I did kind of um, screw you over with that Fernandinho show. <laughs> but weirdly, it's on, not on his Wikipedia, so blame Wikipedia. I've got a feeling I'm just as like. You're, no, I've, yeah, I've got a feeling that we... I'm, I can't get my words out. I've got a feeling Arsenal FA Cup winner is easy. I mean, they won loads of FA Cups. Yeah, kind of just say any of the Wenger good players. But did they 100% win the FA Cup? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think Aubameyang scored when Arsenal most recently won it. So I'm going to go for him. Yeah, Emmerich Aubameyang does work. Well done. Might be his last trophy that he's ever won. I think if anything more recent than that. Yeah, just the one FA Cup 1920 with Arsenal against Chelsea. I'm pretty sure that was. Because Chelsea lost that Carabao Cup last weekend, they've lost six straight finals in a row, something like that. Yeah, because they've, they, they, they've got to the and... final of the FA Cup like three times in a row in the last sort of five years or so, haven't they? They've got to loads of mm -hmm. FA Cup finals. And just absolutely bottled it. So I need Arsenal World Cup runner up. This is interesting because, I mean, there is a dead easy answer. Oh, yeah, I think there is, yeah. 2006. Oh, no, that's not even what I was thinking. <laughs> There's probably a more recent one, but that's that's where my brain goes. Who else would have been in that team that year? No, nah, we'll just we'll just go. I, I, I can't I can't be bothered to think. I'll just get Thierry Henry lost in 2006 against Italy. There probably is like a William Gallas in that team or something like that. I, don't, I can't remember if Netherlands it was the World Cup or the Euro final they got to. Oh. That's really bad from me. That was against Spain. I don't know if I give you the year that will help. Yeah, because then you can just do track it. back. 2010. Wait, 2010? But then I thought that was the World Cup final that, that Germany won. Did the Netherlands? Was the Netherlands? No, Germany. Germany's 2014 in Brazil. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is really bad from me. Still got to get a player from that squad. Yeah. Yeah. There's surely a, there was one of the Dutch players and they played for Ajax. It's just 
knowing who played for Ajax and who played for Feyenoord. Mm-hmm. You obviously got PSV as well, but the two main ones are Ajax and Feyenoord. I've got a, I've got a good one for back in the day, but. <gasps> yeah, because the Netherlands are the, the, the nearly men, aren't they? Yep. This won't have been the only time. Surely at some point in Johan Cruyff's era, they got to a final of a World Cup. Surely. You going for Cruyff? Yeah. Johan Cruyff, I think, has lost two World Cup finals. Let me just double check that. He's, he's definitely lost at least one. 1974 runner up, third place Euro Championship 76. I swear he got to another, but maybe not. But yeah, Johan Cruyff definitely works. So that's, that's all good. Do you know what's mad about Johan Cruyff? I've studied like eras of football. I've studied him as a manager, but never him as a player, which I think that's bonkers when you consider how iconic he was as a player. Probably top five player of all time. There's a book yeah. about Dutch tactics called Brilliant Orange, I think it's called. I recommend it to everyone. Like that, There's something really fascinating about how the Dutch evolutionised football. Mm. I remember them doing, I can't remember when it was, but they did this like, ridiculous press so all 10 people tried to chase the ball and they tried it in a world i can't remember what world cup it was or or euros but i remember them trying this like crazy system and all the teams would do is send it back to the goalkeeper then send a long ball to the halfway line and then obviously everyone's chasing so didn't quite work out but i I like the thinking outside of the box you know so i need inter milan fa cup winner i will try got a few punts but it's like getting a concrete answer that would work yeah let's try matteo kovacic with Chelsea. Obviously played for Inter back in the day. Did he go... He would have been the Aubameyang final, surely. So that kind of makes sense. Yep, FA Cup runner-up uh, twice. So it does work. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I've just realised what I've done. I need a winner, not a runner-up. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Right, back to you. Can can you win it with an FA Cup Inter Milan winner? Okay, I'm going to go... Yep, Stam. Yep, Stam. Well, like I've crossed my winners and runners up uh, wires, you might have crossed your ACs <sighs> and uh, Inter wires, I think. Because I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah, never played for Inter Milan, unfortunately. <laughs> he was AC Milan. poor from me. That's really poor. The one for this is Ashley Young. So he's Man United related. I'm pretty sure. Has yeah, won an FA surely at some point. 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 Yep, just the one. So you need Inter Milan World Cup runner-up. To block me off. R9. You're going for R9 in 1998. The weird thing is, didn't actually play that game, I'm pretty sure, did he? He did. So it's bonkers, the situation. So he was left off the team sheet because he'd had a some sort of seizure or fit. And um, just before the game, they took him to the doctors. They didn't tell his family that any of that had happened. They didn't even know he'd had the seizure. And then he recovered and said, I'm okay to play. And it was all just crazy. It was like, he was left off the lineup. It was like people running around saying, is this true? Is it true that he's... And then he was put back on it. Yeah, that was it. In my head, he didn't play because of the seizure, but no, he did actually play. That is kind of bonkers that they let him play after that. You wouldn't get that through today kind of thing. Let's just finish off the ball just to block you off so you don't get that Ajax row. We will say, surely would have been there because he would have been at Louis van Gaal signing. And daily blend. Hopefully that's correct. I imagine so. Yeah, there we go. Next to Chris Smallin. What a partnership that was. And do you know Ajax played under Fergie? Oh, Van der Sar. Yeah, Van der Sar. Or was Yapstam Ajax? So, was he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yapstam was Ajax. Even uh, to be fair, he did do both. He's got both PSV and Ajax. Yapstam. So either or does work. So there's round number one done. It is a stalemate. So let's go into round number two. I get to go this time first. And uh, we will say a bit of the MLS. Oh, deep resentment for you for that. If I know I'm going out to America at any point, I will make sure I'm clued up on it. But I must admit that is the one aspect I have never clued myself up on the MLS. To me, it's it's the bit at the end of somebody's career. And that's how I associate the club. I go, oh, that's the team that so-and-so went to. So Mexican. Mexican. That's that's a good combination. I will say, this is where I can choose a, a niche place where Mexicans played. Let's go Fulham. I'll go for Napoli. I say since we got Ajax let's let's give some love to PSV I'm going to go for Bolton the one and only one just lovely great way to end it I get to start and we will go for the middle Fulham Napoli uh, Zambo and Gisa yep good one Rudy. there you go current player. I just realised I put Bolton on full world that you did PSV. I don't know any Bolton PSV. Yeah, I was wondering I that. I was that exists. Re- <laughs> Dutch at Bolton over the years? Oh, I'd have to think, but I don't know. 
<laughs> this is not good. I'll go for Mexican MLS and we will go for Carlos Villa. Very nice. On the Arsenal and West Brom. Weirdly, he's not actually got a club at the minute. I will go for PSV Mexican. And I will say Guadrado. Hold a midfielder. Nice. I will say... Oh, I have to do Bolton MLS, don't I? Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to have to hope one of our Americans actually played in the MLS. We've had a couple of Americans. Mm -hmm. There's two Americans that are coming to my head. One of those Americans has spent, I think, most of his career in England. So I don't think it would be him. Oh, there's another American that's come to my head as well. Holding on to the suspense here. Sod it. No, I just said it and I said nothing. I was wondering if that was the player's name, Sod it. I don't remember him playing for Bolton. <laughs> okay. Stuart Holden. That would have been my guess, to be fair. So, played for Bolton Wanderers. Only 30 games, actually. I thought he played a lot more for Bolton. He's played for Sheffield Wednesday. He's played for Sunderland. But he has played for Houston Dynamo, so he has a correct answer. Well done. So, he only played 30 games for us because of a gruesome tackle by Johnny Evans. I don't know if you remember that, that cut his career short. It was so, ah. so frustrating when that happened. He was talented, Stuart Holden. Yeah, really, really good career. Napoli MLS, then, to block you off. Weirdly, I've only got one. I think answer. I don't think there is anyone else. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just go Gonzalo Higuain. Yeah, that's a good shout. Does Lorenzo Insigne count as a shout? Yeah, 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 Insigne, one that's there right now. Oh, this means I have to do Napoli PSV, and I didn't want to. I wanted to establish some. Mm. I'm going to go for Lozano. There we go. To be honest, that's that's the only one I know for that. There probably is others, but that's that's all I got. So I will go. Let's test out your bol bolt of knowledge again. So I'll go follow Mexican Raul Jimenez. Good shout. I will go Bolton Fulham. There was a couple that I could do that are a guarantee. And they are coincidentally both American. Robinson and Tim Ream. Let's go for Tim. Let's put Tim Ream on the board. Tim Ream. Fair enough. Still at Fulham at 36, I want to say. He is getting on a bit. 114 games for Bolton. 280 for uh, Fulham. But now, I don't know what we're going to do for this last one. <laughs> we could have a go at it. We could see what we could do. I will say for this one, Ida Good Johnson. That is the answer I'm going to try. So do you check because if that's one and then yep. if not i get if it's one not well we can, you can have as many if you think you might have more no way it does actually work <laughs> I did, I did Johnson. that was just a punt on the fact that idega johnson's got a career of like 20 clubs so i was like just hoping at some point yeah so he started at valor in iceland then psv got him and then he went back to iceland and then he went to bolton yeah i think my guess would have either been maybe maybe JJ Kocha yeah that seems feasible JJ's got quite a lot of Bundesliga actually he's got Eintracht Frankfurt, Borussia Nunkirchen, whoever they are. Fenerbahce, PSG, Qatar, Hull, and yeah, no. I'd be interested to know, other than Johnson, what another correct answer would have been. That was a pure pun on a journeyman that's played for Bolton. Got very lucky there. Right, into round number three. Uh, we will say, let's go for the Turkish League. Brilliant. Do you not like Fenerbahce and Besiktas or Galatasaray? <laughs> I, just I just don't know. <laughs> let's go for Tottenham. I right, will go. Ooh, maybe a nation, actually. We could get a nation on here. Should we go for an Italian? Cool. I like that. I could pick an Italian team. <laughs> Make it easy for the middle. Yeah. I'll go for a player that's also a manager that's been, a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Player to manager. I like that. And let's end off with Derby County. Brilliant. It's your own fault. <laughs> we'll go for... I was going to say another nation, but I've just realised you've got a nation. <laughs> I mean, Brazil to Italian is possible. There's been a few of them, but other than that, I can't think of... Yeah, that's a good point. I think that's, that's adding a way too niche thing to what are yeah, already too, quite hard. Too many loopholes, yeah. yeah. I'll go for... We'll do Champions League winner. Champions League winner. Lovely. That's what I wanted anyway. Brilliant. Yeah, you go first. Go on then. I'll go for player to manager Italian. <laughs> Let's get, let me just deal with the fact that that's like brilliant. But it's who do I want to pick? I want to pick... My favourite manager in Europe at the moment, Inzaghi. Very nice. Doing a great job, isn't he? Yeah. I will go Derby County, Champions League winner. Because it's just screaming at me. You have to choose it. Scott Carson, two-time winner in uh, Istanbul with Manchester City and Liverpool. I mouthed what I thought was screaming at you and it was not the same person. Is it not Mason Mount? No. It was Ashley Cole. Yeah, Ashley Cole as well. There's, there's been a few, to be fair. And there's another one, but he might be helpful elsewhere. I'm going to go for player to manager Derby County and... I'm going to go for Frank Lampard. What a what a lovely man Frank Lampard is. Proper gentleman. I do hope he gets a job because like the Everton job's a tricky one with the situation they're in and the Chelsea job is just impossible so I hope he has like a similar job to Derby Wade as well. He's actually quite like him. 
Turkish League player to manager. I'm going to go for a bit of an old one. I I'm going to go with Robert, Roberto Mancini is one that I'm going to go for because he went to Galatasaray after Man City. I'll go for Italian Champions League winner and I will go Roberto Baggio. And for Baggio, oh, that's, a, that's a gamble. I think I've made it a lot more difficult than it had to be. Has Roberto Baggio ever won Champions League? Got a Europa League winner. A Europa League runner-up. No Champions League winner, unfortunately. That is a shame. I will go Champions League winner, Turkish League. We will say Didier Drogba. Absolutely rinsed angry ginger a week or two ago in a charity match. So I have I have set up a two-way win. So you can have another go at your Champions League Italian. Yeah. Maldini. There you go. That's the one. Such an idiot. It's, it's weird when you like overcomplicate it for no particular... I do it all the time. I try to make jumps that should be needed. Maldini has won the Champions League one, two, three, four, five times. Burj Turkish League though, that is... Ooh, I got a concrete answer there. Mm, I mean, yeah. W will you allow me Delhi Alley? Oh yeah, why would yeah. I not? I mean, he did, didn't really play at Besiktas. He signed for him, but uh, how many appearances did he get? 13 to be fair. He got, he got a lot more. In my head, it was like one or two appearances, but no, he did actually play. Mine was Endombele. Yeah, there's a good one. Current uh, Galatasaray. Was he Fenerbahce? I always get... I don't know why I get... It's terrible because the, the fans out there will scream at me if I get the two mixed up and I do get them mixed up. But yeah, just to finish in the final board, uh, Italian at Spurs. Have you got any good names for that? The goalkeeper. I can't remember what his name is. Oh, I can't remember what his name is. Literally the current goalkeeper. Bakaria. Yep. There we go. There is another one as well. The only other one I know is... Um, actually, no, there's another current one as well. It's Udoggy. And then before oh. that, it's Gallini, who was the goalkeeper at Atalanta. He was the backup to Loris for a season. And then Tottenham Hotspur and Derby County. Have you got any shouts for this? Uh, Actually, you might have seen the story. He scored for Man United in the Derby in the under-21s game. He's 37 now. I was thinking of potentially a goalkeeper that was both. No, the, the, the one I'd had anyway is Tom Huddleston. Great career at Spurs and Derby. And now yeah. he's the Man United under-21 player slash coach. So he, he like plays with them and coaches them. And he scored the winner against City. So happy days for him. But yeah, there we go. I do win the third round. So two more to go. So let's see if you can uh, bring it back. Into round number four, you get to start. What would you like? I'm going to go for Ballon d'Or winner. Ooh, not had that in a while. Oh, that's quite tough. Doesn't That really restricts it, doesn't it? I mean, what you're doing is before Messi, it's Messi and Ronaldo for the last decade and then before, you know. <laughs> you can't be like clever at all with this now because you can't just say a niche club because it just doesn't exist. Like, you, you can't like, don't pull out Derby County for this one. No, no, I don't think we could. Let's go for a Euros winner, European Championship, since you're, uh, you kind of, you know, you, sh you showed your hand earlier saying that you're not too sure if you woke up in your rows. Could exploit the weaknesses. I'll go for has played under a manager. A man, just a manager, <laughs> Jenny, just any manager, that'll and do. the manager that I'm going to say is Rafa Benitez. That is a great one. That is a really nice, get some Newcastle Championship players in there. Let's go for, oh, 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 would that work back in the day? I really want to say Ipswich Town, but I don't think it'll work with Ballon d'Or. <laughs> Let me try a bit of let's just go AC Milan just to keep it interesting with the ACs and Inters mix up and then we will go for English English yeah. interesting the one I want to say for this last one is it Arsh I mean nah let's do it let's go for Stoke City oh I know who it is do you want to start bottom left it's you going first isn't it no you can go first see the thing is you want me to do it you don't want me to take the middle of the board I've said I know who it is now and I don't want people to think I'm lying but if I don't say it and then I let you say it then it will look like I am lying but then actually do I care what people think of me I'm just here to win a game win the round yeah don't, don't worry about that I mean if anything the corners are strategically more better if that makes sense we'll do it then we'll go, yeah, that's go so, I don't know if that makes me really good I've just believed you there or if that's a genuine bit of advice but we'll go with no, that is Stoke actually... City Michael Owen there we go the only reason I remembered it is because I watched him on Deal or No Deal recently <laughs> Emil Heskey was there to, to be the assistant, literally opening the box room. We will go for the middle now because it's much more better sheet now. <laughs> Is the interesting thing that you've done on the board that I've only just realised. Would you like to change the nation? Because England have never won the Euros. <laughs> I've only just realised. 
<laughs> I was so fixated on this Ballon d'Or thing. I've just made it, I've made it impossible. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I'll change the nation. Uh, we will change it to Spanish. Lovely. They've actually won the Euros. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's go bottom right, because he's just the old classic Bojan. Played for Stoke City, of course. Nice. Yeah, nice one. Stoke City have got some mad players from the last, like, 10, 15 years who've gone on to do loads of cool things. Yeah, it's, it's a very... I mean, it's quite depressing the last, like, four years for Stoke fans. I think they, 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 they might go down to League One. That is a possibility. Like, probably 75% chance they do go down. Let's go for... So, the year Spain won the Euros was 2012. Did they also win it in 2008? Yeah. Don't want to overthink it. Mm. Just going to say, Iniesta. Ah, I, was, I had Xavi lined up. So, I do need to go for the middle. And we will say Fernando Torres. Nice. I mean, Euro... if you do get this top left one, you've got yeah. a two-way win. Yeah, Euro winner Ballon d'Or. Well, there's a, there's a really obvious one, isn't there? Like, really obvious one. Who's that? Why am I second guessing myself on this? I was at that Euro. I watched Adair score that winner. So this did happen. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, that does work. <laughs> that just shows how mad this game is, how intense it is. That I'm questioning myself over Cristiano Ronaldo as an answer. So I need to block you off now. What would be easier to answer? I think I'll leave you. I mean, they're both quite easy. You're quite fortunate here. So I'll, I'll leave the Rafa Benitez Euros winner and I'll go Ballon d'Or winner from AC Milan. The first non-European, George Weyer. Nice. He was way too good for everyone else. Euros winner played under Rafa. Let's not start getting all sophisticated over this, not thinking. Let's just throw him right in there. Lorenzo Insigne. Insigne? Played under D Benitez at Napoli and won the Euros with Italy. Was he in that Euros winning squad? Not only was he in, he was one of my favourite players of that Euros. His goal against Belgium was absolutely unreal. Yep, that does work. It does make it one all on the scores. Very nice. He played that well there with the, uh, as I said, the corners much better than the middle. So you're Michael Owen. Won it for you. I've just spilled my drink all over me. Have you? Yes, I it was a celebratory sip of water and I've just got too excited. Got the round, lose the composure. Bain, AC Milan. Obviously, you could have had Torres, um, but I'm going to go for Diego Lopez. Bez, the goalkeeper, spent a little bit of time as the backup there. And then Stoke City, Rafa Benitez. Peter Crouch, maybe? Ooh, don't know if that was after Benitez left Peter Crouch. Let me let me have a look at the year difference. Yeah, Rafa Benitez did. Yeah, good answer. Well done. So yeah, let's go on to the final round, which is a decider. Ooh. Panned out well. Good luck, Neve. I think you've said good luck, Luke. No, I don't need the luck. Right, into the final round. I will start this time. I mean, I could, I could play dirty. Could go for some tic-tac so tricks. Not Luke turning into Luis Suarez. Goal line. <laughs> Handball clearance just, against Ghana. Yeah, got, got off the line. I'd be fuming if I was a Ghana fan. If someone had done that again, I'd literally hate Suarez so much. We will start off with a bit of Ivory Coast. Interesting one. Mm -hmm. AFCON winners. Yeah. I will go for... We'll just throw it in there again. I'll go for Champions League winner. Champs winner. Let's go. Let's go West Ham. Okay. I'll go for... Oh, I've, got, I've got to remember that Ivory Coast. I haven't had it. That's, that's an expect before mm. I do something too niche. You must just know your loads of your Ivory Coast players. Yeah, Robbie Keane, you know, Brady. Great flag for back. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for Wigan. Wigan, fair enough. At least it works. And then I'll finish off with a bit of... Does Roma work with Wigan? I don't think it does, annoyingly. Let's throw in... Anyone to play in the SPFL? Is that like the umbrella term for all of the Scottish leagues or just the top division? Just the top division in my head. We'll, we'll just say the top, you know, top yeah. Scottish league. We'll go for... This is so horrible. I don't like it. Syria. Title or just Syria in general? Just in general. Let's not make this harder than it needs to be. Okay, fair enough. I will right, we'll start off then and we will go. Let's go Syria, Ivory Coast. And I will say Jovenia. Nice, that's a good one. Yalkwasi. I will go Scottish Premiership and Syria, and I will go for Aaron Hickey. Bologna, and was he, I want to say Hibs. Hearts. I don't know, to be honest. It was with a H, I got it. Yeah, yeah, Hearts is the correct one. <laughs> there's quite a few for that, actually, now in the Syria. There's loads of Scottish players gone over there. That would be quite a good video, actually. Why, why are so many Scottish people going to the Syria? Let's go. Oh, do I test out your Wigan knowledge? Put them on there. Yeah, let's let's give it a go, and we will say for the top right, Gennaro Gattuso. What? 
Oh wow! I, that, did he play for Rangers? For Rangers, Rangers. Wow. Rangers. I don't know he why. was. I yeah. Didn't even know that. I was learning something new every day. Yeah, it's like him and Arteta, like fruity Rangers players in the nineties. They're just like, why are you there? I mean, he just scream Rangers. Do you know what I could do so? Because he is yeah. just pure. Take the man out. Don't get the ball. Right. Think for a little second. Me. There's one that I think potentially is an answer. Although no, was it even just we got someone on loan from somewhere and I think he then went to Wigan. I don't actually think that was West Ham. Mm. Damn. I've got one in my head just in case I can't think of something that feels certain. Not to put the pressure on but I have got the answer now for the middle. Ooh. It is doable at least. Who am I? Why did I do this? What a way to spend a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Yeah. On a leap year day. Literally, we don't get this day for another four years and we're spending... How are you celebrating the leap year day? Yeah. <laughs> thinking of Wigan and West Ham players. The you know, only thing is I can only think of one. That That is the painful thing. And that's just because he's quite a good tic-tac-toe answer. It's sad because it means that you're just going to win the game. You know, all that tension and excitement and you're just going to win the game. You can take your time. You, you can spend the next hour thinking of a West Ham Wigan player if you want. I've got a few players in my head that I'm thinking. Uh, ironically, I've got more in my head that I'm more certain that they played for Wigan. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Like, I can't think of many West Ham players to go to Wigan, but I can think of Wigan players. Like, that's that's the team I can remember more from, weirdly. Because obviously now there wouldn't really be much that goes to Wigan. Like, 2015 is probably, like, your best thinking area. Or 2012. Who was in that oh. FA Cup winning team in 2013? Yeah. Because there's one player there that I think maybe at some point was at West Ham. In fact, I'm just going to do it and just lose and bow out gracefully. This has not been graceful, though. Just I'm going to go for Josh Cullen. Do you know what? It's not a terrible shout. Did weirdly go to the... What's your call it, didn't he? Anderlecht, that was it, with company. Did play for West Ham, Bradford City, Shelton, and a great team in Bolton Wanderers, but unfortunately, <laughs> no Wigan. Wigan. I do like that, though. It's, it's like that, that Bradford or Shelton could have very easily been a Wigan, but no, the one for the middle. He parted the Red Sea. It's Victor Moses. What a great one. Wow, yeah. The, the only reason, again, is it's just playing tic-tac-toe over and over again Liverpool Stoke West Ham Fenerbahce Wigan Palace Chelsea like all those different it's like so helpful to know the ones for the middle Yuski Yaskalainen big Bolton goalie of course played for both he played for um, West Ham yeah he's got like 50 games for him that's so annoying I just in my head I did not think he played for West nah. Ham that's really sad because yeah. that's someone that a new played for Wigan. Yeah. Nicky Maynard, if you know the striker. Ashley Fletcher oh, played for both yeah. as well. Berra as well, Mo he played for them. Yeah. Mohamed Diame is another potential answer that would have worked. Uh, Jack Collinson, the centre-back. Uh, Reese Burke, if you know him. Oh, Where's he, he played for Bolton as well. Uh, does he play for Hull City now? No, he's gone at L Luton, isn't he? Yeah, he's Luton. He oh, was yeah, at Hull. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. Let's just quickly finish in the uh, rest of the board. Ivory Coast Champions League winner. The only one I add is Yaya Torre. West Ham Champions League would be Frank Lampard. Yeah, that's a great one. And also Rio Ferdinand. Mm -hmm. Wigan, Ivory Coast. This is a bit of a tricky one. In the fact that it's probably not. No, they could, it could be possible. No, it's... It, is possible. It's Aruna Kode wow. is the player, if you remember him. Yeah, would not have come to that Played though. white a bit at Everton. And then SPFL Wigan. James McLean, maybe? Yeah. Or I was thinking maybe Sean Maloney. And then Serie A West Ham. Do you have an answer for this? Did Ogbonner ever play in the Serie There you go. Yeah, so Ogbonner. Italians, yeah, or Di Canio. Bit of an older one. Yeah, and Jean Mario, the Portuguese. He's played at Inter and West Ham. But yeah, I do win the episode. Episode 2-1. It's a good battle we've had at least. Some good answers. That's the main fun of it, you know. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you check out Neve, drop her a sub and all that good stuff. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.